Greetings everyone. I Kiran Singh, Assistant Professor, Sri Ram Sarup Memorial University from the Institute of Legal Studies is going to deliver a lecture on the topic mentioned status of refugee in India. Before starting with the lecture, we need to know few crucial points. First is whether India is up, whether there is any international policy on refugee. The answer is yes, we have two international uh, convenant, covenant that is the UN Convention on the Status of Refugee 1951 and its protocol of 1967. Presently, we have 148 countries which are signatory to this convention. It's demise or sad that India is not a party to the same. Now, what was the need? Why these covenants was being entered into? The reason was, the reason for the emergence of this, there are two conventions, UN Convention on the Status of Refugee 1951 and its protocol of 1967 was emancipated due to World War II. That is, the European country after the crisis of World War II adopted these conventions for the protection of the refugees. Now, I told you in the beginning that India is not a party to it. Now comes the second issue. What policy does India adopt? Has India any kind of laws on the status of refugee? The answer is India is not having any kind of laws on the status of refugee. Then how does it govern the uh, refugees? We see that India has adopted an ad hoc approach. Though India is not a party to these convention, it follows the principle of non-refuelment. Now the issue is what is principle of non-refuelment? The principle of non-refuelment or the policy of non-refuelment says that when any country, when any refugee or any person has left his own country due to fear of persecution or there is an imminent fear or danger to his life, liberty or his political opinion, then the other country will not allow that particular person to enter into his own country. And such person would be allowed to stay in the, uh, in the country where they have gone. Now, this is thus India practice this principle of, uh, uh, of non-refuelment. The answer is yes, though India is not having any kind of law on the refugee. But yes, indeed it follow a principle of non-refuelment. But there are exceptions. That exception to Rohingyas and Sri Lankan Tamilians. Now, the issue is if India is following just a practice, it is not having laws, then how does it, how does the India govern the refugees? And what are the laws? On the same, we see that we have a domestic law to protect the status of refugee in India. Now, what are the domestic laws? And what are the laws which are governing the status of refugee in India? Basically, we have three laws, the Foreigner, Act, the Foreigner Act 1946, the Registration Act of 1939 and the Passport of, Act of 1920 and 1967. I repeat, the Foreigner Act of 1946, the Re Registration Act of 1939 and the Passport Act of 1920 and 1967. Now the issue is if these are the laws these are not the direct laws. They are governing the status. They are governing the entry. They are governing the uh, method when they enter into in, in India. Now the issue is if we don't have any specific laws, how they are being governed into India, how they, uh, what happened when a refugee enters into India. The, uh, the whenever any kind of illegal immigrant, we call it whenever a refugee enter into India, he is being known as an alien. And the term alien is being defined under Article 22 of the Constitution. Article 22 of the Constitution talks about alien. Now the issue is whenever any refugee enter into India, what are the things that will happen? Initially, if the immigration or if the person has entered illegally without having valid document. When I'm saying valid document, it include passport and visa. So if a person is enter and has entered without these valid document, he will be called as alien, which I defined in Article 22. Now, in the need of the R, what is the need of the R? The present need of the R is that India 
is just adopting the policy it is having the domestic laws we have the constitution of india which is the law of the land and it is protecting the status or the rights of the refugee in india we have article 21 we have article 14 article 21 which talks about right to life and personal liberty article 14 which talk about right to equality and article 25 which talk about freedom to religion we see that the domestic law or the law of the land or the constitution of India is governing the status of the refugee and it is the National Human Rights Commission. It is the Supreme Court of India, it is the High Court of India which is protecting the rights of the refugee by way of its interference. So the need of the present hour is that we must have a legislation in order to protect the rights of the refugee. In absence of such laws and the policies, we are India is not taking a stand on the status of the refugee. We must have a law in order to safeguard the rights of the refugee in India. Thank you.